July 21st, 2011, a historic moment that forever changed the landscape of space exploration. As Space Shuttle Atlantis touched down for the final time at Kennedy Space Center, it marked the end of an era that had defined American spaceflight for three decades. The Space Shuttle program had carried our dreams, our astronauts, and our scientific aspirations into orbit. But it also taught us harsh lessons through the tragic losses of Challenger and Columbia. In the wake of the shuttle's retirement, America faced a sobering reality. For the first time since the dawn of human spaceflight, we had no way to send our own astronauts to space. The world's leading space power now relied entirely on Russian Soyuz rockets to reach the International Space Station. This critical gap sparked a revolution in American aerospace as NASA turned to private companies to forge the future of space transportation. Today, that revolution has given rise to an extraordinary new spacecraft, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. This sleek space plane promises to combine the best features of the space shuttle with cutting edge technology, offering something its competitors can't match, the ability to land on ordinary runways with the gentleness of a commercial airliner. As SpaceX dominates the launch industry with its Dragon capsule, Dream Chaser stands ready to challenge its supremacy. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration and technology. Let's dive right in. In the aftermath of the Space Shuttle's retirement, American spaceflight stood at a crossroads. While SpaceX's Dragon capsule has become a familiar sight at the International Space Station, a quieter revolution has been taking shape in the hangars of Sierra Space. The Dream Chaser spacecraft isn't just another vehicle. It's the rebirth of a legacy that began with NASA's early lifting body experiments in the 1960s. Deep within Sierra Space's facilities in Louisville, Colorado, engineers work around the clock on a spacecraft that looks deceptively simple. Its sleek, winged design masks years of breakthrough innovations in thermal protection, autonomous systems, and advanced materials. Sarah Martinez, a thermal protection specialist who spent 15 years working on the Space Shuttle program, sees something special in Dream Chaser. When I first saw the thermal protection system we developed, I knew we'd created something revolutionary, she explains. It's not just about surviving re-entry. It's about doing it with such precision that even the most sensitive experiments remain undisturbed. The stakes couldn't be higher. In 2023, over $2 billion worth of scientific research was conducted on the International Space Station. Much of this research involves crystals grown in microgravity, delicate protein structures, and time-sensitive biological samples that could lead to breakthrough treatments for diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's. But the journey back to Earth has always been a limiting factor. The violent ocean splashdowns of current cargo capsules can disturb or damage these precious materials, potentially setting research back by months or even years. Dream Chaser's approach to this challenge showcases the power of learning from past innovations while embracing new technology. Its lifting body design, refined through thousands of hours of wind tunnel testing, allows it to generate lift during re-entry, much like the Space Shuttle did. But unlike its predecessor, Dream Chaser incorporates an advanced autonomous flight control system that makes split-second adjustments during descent, ensuring a smoother ride for its precious cargo. The spacecraft's first mission, named Tenacity, will push these capabilities to their limits. During its 45-day maiden voyage, Dream Chaser will demonstrate a series of increasingly complex maneuvers that would have seemed like science fiction just a decade ago. The spacecraft's autonomous docking system, developed in partnership with former space shuttle pilots, represents a fundamental shift in how vehicles approach the International Space Station. Dr. James Chen, lead developer of Dream Chaser's autonomous systems, recalls a pivotal moment during testing. We were running a simulation of an emergency abort scenario, something that had never been fully automated before. The system not only recognized the danger, but executed a perfect retreat maneuver that even our most experienced pilots said they couldn't have done better. That's when we knew we'd crossed a threshold in spacecraft capability. But Dream Chaser's most dramatic innovation comes during its return to Earth. As it descends from orbit, the spacecraft's thermal protection system, composed of over 8,000 individually crafted tiles, maintains a precise temperature balance that protects both the vehicle and its cargo. At an altitude of about 50,000 feet, 
Dream Chaser begins its transformation from spacecraft to aircraft, executing a series of gentle banking maneuvers that bleed off speed while maintaining stability. The contrast with traditional capsule returns is stark. While Dragon capsules descend under parachutes and splash down in the ocean, Dream Chaser approaches the runway at Kennedy Space Center, much like a commercial airliner. This capability isn't just about style, it's about revolutionizing what's possible in space-based research. Sensitive experiments can be retrieved within minutes of landing, preserved in the exact state they were in on the space station. However, Dream Chaser faces significant challenges. The spacecraft's reliance on United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur rocket has created unexpected hurdles. The new rocket, while promising, has encountered development delays that pushed Dream Chaser's first flight from 2023 to early 2025. These setbacks have tested the patience of Sierra Space's partners and raised questions about the program's timeline. Meanwhile, SpaceX's dominance in the launch market continues to grow at an unprecedented rate. From 31 launches in 2021 to 96 launches in 2023, SpaceX now controls over 40% of global launch activities. Their Falcon 9 rocket, with more than 300 successful launches, has set new standards for reliability and rapid reuse. This success hasn't gone unnoticed. Some aerospace experts suggest that Dream Chaser should consider switching to the Falcon 9 for more reliable access to space. The competition has grown even more intense with SpaceX's development of Starship. This massive vehicle, standing 120 meters tall, represents a different approach to space transportation. While Dream Chaser focuses on precise, gentle returns of smaller payloads, Starship aims to revolutionize space travel through sheer scale and full reusability. Its capacity to lift 150 metric tons to orbit dwarfs Dream Chaser's 5.5 metric ton capability. SpaceX's rapid development approach has yielded impressive results. Through six test flights, each pushing the boundaries of what's possible, Starship has demonstrated the potential to transform space transportation. Their willingness to learn from failures and quickly incorporate improvements stands in sharp contrast to traditional aerospace development cycles. Yet, Sierra Space remains confident in Dream Chaser's unique value proposition. The company recently unveiled plans for an expanded version of the spacecraft, capable of carrying crews to private space stations. This announcement sent ripples through the aerospace industry, suggesting that Dream Chaser's story is far from over. The most compelling aspect of this space race isn't just the technical achievements, it's the impact on human knowledge and discovery. Each successful mission, whether flown by Dragon or Dream Chaser, carries the potential to unlock new medical treatments, advance our understanding of physics, or develop new materials that could improve life on Earth. For the scientists whose research depends on access to microgravity, these developments represent more than just technical achievements. Dr. Maria Rodriguez, a crystallographer working on potential cancer treatments, explains, Every sample we send to space is precious. Having a spacecraft that can return them so gently could accelerate our research by years. For patients waiting for new treatments, that time difference is invaluable. As both companies push forward with their respective visions, the true winners are the scientists, researchers, and ultimately all of humanity who will benefit from this new era of space accessibility. The competition between Dream Chaser and SpaceX isn't just about market share. It's about expanding what's possible in space exploration and scientific discovery. As we stand on the brink of this new era in space transportation, the competition between Dream Chaser and SpaceX represents more than just corporate rivalry. It symbolizes humanity's growing capability to access and utilize space in increasingly sophisticated ways. While SpaceX continues to dominate with its proven Dragon capsule and ambitious Starship program, Dream Chaser's innovative approach to gentle runway landings could unlock new possibilities for scientific research and space-based manufacturing. The ultimate winner in this technological race is in any single company, it's humanity itself. Each breakthrough, whether from Sierra Space or SpaceX, pushes the boundaries of what's possible and brings us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. As Dr. Rodriguez puts it, every advancement in space transportation brings us closer to discoveries that could transform life on Earth. The next few years will be crucial, 
As Dream Chaser prepares for its first flight, SpaceX continues to evolve Starship. We're witnessing a pivotal moment in space history. The dream of reliable, reusable space transportation that began with the space shuttle is finally becoming reality, but in ways few could have imagined. If you're as excited as we are about the future of space exploration, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community here at Elon Musk 24 Hours. Leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on Dream Chaser's potential impact on space research. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Enable notifications to stay updated on the latest developments in space technology and exploration. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next deep dive into the world of space innovation. Breaking news from SpaceX has sent shockwaves through the aerospace community. Elon Musk's team is revolutionizing Starship's heat shield technology. The company is pivoting away from traditional ceramic tiles toward an innovative metallic shield design that could transform how spacecraft survive the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. This isn't just another incremental improvement. It's a complete paradigm shift in spacecraft thermal protection. After careful analysis of Starship's Flight 6 data, where we witness the spacecraft's remarkable survival through re-entry, SpaceX engineers have identified a groundbreaking path forward, combining metallic shielding with advanced gas and liquid film cooling systems. While the current ceramic tiles can withstand temperatures up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, they come with significant drawbacks. They're fragile, require extensive maintenance, and need thorough inspection after each flight. SpaceX's proposed metallic solution promises to overcome these limitations, potentially achieving Elon Musk's ultimate goal, a fully and immediately reusable spacecraft that can land, refuel, and launch again with minimal inspection or refurbishment. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The race to revolutionize spacecraft re-entry technology took a dramatic turn last month at SpaceX's Starbase facility. As the sun rose over the Texas coast, engineers gathered in hushed anticipation around their monitors, watching thermal sensors track the final moments of Flight 5's descent. The aluminum-coated shields, which had shown such promise in ground tests, were now facing their ultimate trial in the merciless conditions of atmospheric re-entry. As temperatures soared past 2,000 degrees Celsius, the inevitable happened. The aluminum coating began to fail, leaving telltale patterns of thermal stress across Starship's gleaming hull. For Dr. Sarah Chen, SpaceX's lead thermal protection engineer, this moment wasn't a failure, it was an opportunity. Sometimes you learn more from pushing materials to their breaking point than from playing it safe, she noted in a recent technical briefing. This philosophy would prove crucial in the events that followed. Flight 6 marked the beginning of SpaceX's bold new direction. In what many industry experts considered a risky move, the team completely stripped heat shields from specific sections of Ship 31. As the spacecraft pierced through the atmosphere, sensors transmitted a wealth of data that would change everything we thought we knew about re-entry protection. Deep within SpaceX's Advanced Materials Laboratory in Hawthorne, California, a revolution was taking shape. The team had been quietly developing something extraordinary, a metallic heat shield system that would make the Space Shuttle's ceramic tiles look like ancient technology. But the path to this breakthrough was anything but straight. The story begins with a little-known experiment conducted at 3 a.m. one morning, when a young SpaceX engineer accidentally discovered an unusual property in a modified stainless steel alloy. While testing material samples under extreme heat, they noticed that one particular composition didn't just resist heat, it actively distributed it in a way that defied conventional thermal models. This discovery sparked an